Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's a bro Muslim and today I'm back with the video on Hackintosh. So this is the second video in the series of videos in which I will be explaining you how to make SSDTs for your system from DSDT we extracted before. So in this video, I will be explaining you how to fix the NVRAM PMC error on your Hackintosh. So PMC is very important and having a native NVRAM is very very important for your Hackintosh. So native support to NVRAM helps your Hackintosh to boot into different operating systems from the system settings using the bless option it is also very important to help system identify the exact volumes and different settings you do when you use the system so if you leave your system at a very low volume and if you restart the system will remain on that volume instead of getting to a default value or to getting to the max value and there are many different things which are linked to NVRAM PMCs in Mac OS. So it is very important to have a proper SSDT for your NVRAM to get a compatible and easy to upgrade Hackintosh system. So let's start with how to get our PMC to work with our Hackintosh. So in the previous video, we have extracted our DSTT. And if you haven't watched that video, please go back to that video. The, disc the link is in the description below. And then once you have your DSTT from the uh, from your Hackintosh, now what you have to do is you have to follow this step. You have to open the DSTT and you have to find con command F to start to open the find search bar. You have to find name curly bracket underscore EDR dot zero x zero zero one F tetra zero so this is low pin point address and once you have this address see this is the only address here so once you have this address address tells it is not available so basically we didn't find a proper L low pin count here so which means we don't have the low pin count okay so once you search this LPC you have here you get the LPC this was the address of LPC you have to identify the name next to LPC which is LPCB which is the low pin count path and the device name the best thing I would recommend you is to take a screenshot of this specific area you have the screenshot on desktop once you have the screenshot then we have to move to our step 2 which is finding the PCI path to that LPC and we have to search PNP 0A08. Okay, so we found PNP 0A08. And we zoom, we go up. And this is the start of the scope. We have to find basically the ID or the starting scope ID of this device. So the device scope is basically PCI 0 best thing is to take a screenshot okay so now we have two screenshots for our two different now what you have to do is basically minimize this open this sample the SSDT PMC I will upload the sample in the description below there will be a link from there you can get this and then what you have to do is basically replace or rename the devices so open the two screenshots separate them oops open them separately man okay open this and what you have to do is basically you have to rename the devices scope so look here we have underscore sb underscore dot pci zero dot lpcb and luckily we have exactly the same name which is our in dstt we have the exact same name in our sstt pmc sample so in my case i have to change literally nothing so pci0 is what we got from here from basically here pci0 and dot lpc is from here so now this time we have to change nothing we have to change it here and here as well so for example if your pci id was different you have to add the, that id here in place of this PCI 0 and in here as well and if you have the different device name which is LPCB if you had anything else like LPC 
or LPI, you have to enter that here and here. But if you're lucky like me and you have the same name as mentioned in the SSDT PMC sample or DSL, that's very lucky of you and that's excellent. Then we have one short step to go and then we have to uh, click file, save as, and then you can instead of writing it net sample, you can just write fixed and change the format to ACPI. Now what you have to do is once our once your SSDD PMC dot fix is ready, you have to go to your EFI, make sure you back up your EFI just in case anything went wrong. And after backing up, open your EFI OC, go to ACPI, and then you have to basically place this here. And I literally named it the same thing. Uh, look at this PMC. Once this is copied, go back, open your config. Once the ACPI file is copied here, make sure it's copied. Go back, click config.blst, and then you have to scan EFI, EFI, config, ACPI, and you have to just open it. So I have already opened it. So this is the SS, SSDT PMC dash fixed, and you're good to go. It's fixed, and it's here in, in your open code. Uh, configurator look at this and make sure it's enabled then after that save your config.plst file and give it a system of restart once the system boots successfully with the new PMC that's a very good day then and that means you are ready for your next step then we will in the next video we will make an SSDT for our most infamous and most trouble causing part of your hackintosh which is awac or rtc fixing the awac and rtc clocks is very important and it was one of the biggest issues if you are booting to mac os pixel because mac os pixel is very sensitive to your system clock and with the wrong ssdt you won't be able to boot whatever you try so this is very very important especially for those who are trying to boot into Mac OS Big Sur with your systems, uh, either they be desktops, servers, or even the laptops. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any question, query, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have watched this video so far, that means you really enjoyed it. This video helped you out. And you can also contact me on Patreon. I take a little charge and I will personally help you out in setting up your Hackintosh or your Windows PC, or your servers, or any other computing device. So that's all again. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.